Professor Jones here. How are you doing? So today we're going to discuss something called notes in music notation. Why do we need that? Um, if you want to be able to read music or play music and just feel comfortable understanding how time moves in music, we kind of need this notation. All right. So to start with, we're going to think of a giant pizza, right? Or for those of you who like money you can think of this as a dollar all right and what we're gonna do is call this guy a whole note one big pizza now if you want to share that pizza we're gonna split him in half there are two of you and we're gonna divide them in half so we split it in half we get this guy that looks like a circle but with a stem, a little different than the whole note. And we are calling that simply a half note, right? So two half notes make one whole. And notice how I have my circle either on the space or on the line. Now, if more people come to your party and you're like, hmm, I wanna share some more, I'm gonna divide that half again, so you divide the half note, now you get two of these guys. Thinking about money, if we divide the whole, if this was a dollar and we divide it into four, we're gonna get four quarters. So this is called our quarter note. So four of these equal one whole. Two of them equal one half, because we split the half in two. Now, what if more people came to that party? You're like starting to get like, now I don't know about that because I was kind of hungry. I kind of needed a large piece, but I'm a nice person. So you're like gonna divide it now. Instead of four people, you're gonna have eight people. And so that's where you get this guy. You divide that quarter in half and you have four of them you get an eighth note okay so that's one eighth right so that's where we get our eighth note now if someone else is coming to the party you really I hope you have a some salad or some all the bread next to that pizza because you get you gotta divide this now you're gonna have to divide this again you divided it how many times now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifty sixteen so that is what we call a sixteenth note a sixteenth note just so you know kind of looks like an eighth note but we add a double line the eighth note kind of looks like a quarter note but we give them that stem you can also write it that way quarter note looks like that when we lump them together you can put a line to clump them in fours or twos you know what I mean depending on the music and we'll talk more about that later but at least this gives you an idea of how everything kind of breaks down. So hopefully this has been helpful and easy to understand. Talk to you later.